Oil prices advanced today on inventory declines that were greater than expected, suggesting perhaps that the global economy isn't quite as slow as, as previously thought. We did nudge up north of $56 a barrel towards the 200-day moving average, a level that's been really difficult for oil to get through. If you go back to when the April sell-off began, we've only spent limited time above the 200-day moving average and not recently at all. So right now that 200-day moving average could be a technical turning point uh, if we look at the charts, basically the fact that we're going to bounce and we headed south after we touched it, but maybe a trade through it could prompt some more buying, uh, especially if the global economy continues to show improvement, which would garner higher oil prices. Uh, the dollar, on the other hand, you would expect on a higher oil price day, the dollar to be lower. The dollar was sideways. It has been trending higher and oil and the dollar have both been trending since the August lows uh, together in tandem, which is rare. We've seen the same in gold in the dollar, the dollar being the stronger, strongest basket uh, currency in the basket, while we're seeing dollar dynamic uh, commodities rally as well. So right now, demand for these commodities or speculative demand for these co uh, commodities is what's really showing through here as the dollar strength is not hurting these commodity prices and lastly i think uh if we're looking at the if we're looking at oil prices here uh as they associate to positioning we've seen speculators get long and they've been adding to those longs and i think if we see this this technical breakout to the upside you could see that continue uh oil obviously becomes a very fickle commodity when we talk about how global growth expectations affect it and i think at this point right now if we if we do see a trade back towards $50 a barrel, those speculators are gonna be quick to get out, but I think they're gonna wait and see if we can see a technical turn. Like I said, get above the 200-day the moving average for any sustainable period will bring in new buyers. Likewise, if we see the U.S. economy continue to perform well, which we may with the data coming out this week. Likewise, if we see the, the global economy maybe improve based on trade tensions that remain really the driver of all trade, not just in oil, but also in treasuries and stocks and gold and you name it. Uh, that could also be give oil a relief rally as that has been a main concern and a drag on global growth. So as we head near the holiday weekend, uh, oil prices higher today, likely going to stay near the highs of the move as we head into Labor Day, where there is going to be a lot of driving expected, which could again prompt more drawdowns on stockpiles in next week's numbers.